I am not sure that, uh, that I'll call what I do art. Um, I started writing uh, poetry and memoir a couple of years ago. Uh, the first thing I did was a small book on my war experiences called uh, Study War No More. And then I started writing poetry, um, again, just a few years ago. And um, much of the poetry I'm writing, or trying to write, trying to learn to write, is about war. Not just the war I was in, but um, about war. Mm -hmm. I enlisted in the Army in 1944. Actually, it was a little earlier than that, but they didn't call me up until I was 18 in 44. And then went into basic training in South Carolina, then was sent overseas when the bulge uh, jumped off at Christmas time, 44. And then I was got to Europe. Uh, must have been the end of the first week of January. And, um, and then saw combat until the war ended. And uh, we uh, were in Czechoslovakia near Prague at that time when the war actually ended. And then we pulled back into Germany and went on occupation duty. I'd been, for most of my life, a cabinet maker. Yes. And I was working as a cabinet maker and for many, many, many years. Without conscious thought, there was a diminution of cabinetry making and starting to write. The uh, original motivation for writing was uh, my desire to get some kind of a memoir of my war experiences on paper for my children. And that's what provoked the whole thing. And I have a little chapbook here, which is not finished. And uh, I can read something to you from it. This is called 1945, which is the year that the war ended. We crossed the Moselle. We crossed the Rhine. We kill horses and men. A cold morning, on a windshield, the stars and stripes. Roosevelt is dead. Early May in Czechoslovakia, the guns are silent. Birds sing again. Smiles in DP camps reveal gold teeth the Nazis didn't knock out. German werewolves kill unarmed GIs. Now we all carry Lugers. Looted by Germans, Europe's uh, souvenirs grace our barracks. Down the Rhine, a champagne factory. We don't know how much is enough. Far from the States, chocolate, cigarette, and cowgummi make the world go round. We have a fear of going home. We might say, pass the fucking butter. The guns are silent. Birds sing again. Wounds of war are still to come. When you started writing, did you start specifically with your war experiences? It was yes. the memoir of the war that you yes. wanted your children to know about? R yes, and... Not just the war, but my thoughts about patriotism since the war. Mm. I was a Boy Scout when I went into the Army, and uh, full of that Yankee doodle, do or die, you know, kind of business. But I've learned a lot since the war, and I've come to understand the... Uh, cupidities of governments and corporations who make vast money sums on war, the only people who do profit from war, 
I've learned that the government that I was so willing to go and fight and possibly die for when I was a boy, 18, uh, lies like other governments. And I learned that the World War II, which everybody, which is referred to as the last good war, which is bullshit, there are no good wars. Uh, but that I learned that that war might have been avoided. Might very well have been avoided. It was not a derogatory, an absolute uh, thing. That, uh, and that business about uh, those of us who served and fought uh, were the greatest generation, that's bullshit too. A large number of the greatest generation were the people that refused to fight in the lie of Vietnam. Uh, I've come to the point in my life where I can hear what people say, pro or con, and agree or disagree, and uh, try to learn from it.